Hello everyone, this is just a dad. I'm going to do a quick video on these Honeywell remote thermostat displays. So I just changed the battery. It seems like you always got to set the display on this. And it says no signal. Okay, so you got it in the bottom right hand corner. You got to touch the display and hold it. And then it's going to bring up the wireless uh, setup menu. And you're going to hit connect. It says error one. So that means we got to reestablish a connection. So we're going to remove. Yes. Now we're going to do a new connection. Still says E1. So we got to go to the thermostat and set it up. Okay, so on your thermostat, you're going to go to menu. You're going to go down here to installer options. You got to have your passcode. I put mine on the side of mine so I'd always know it, but you may whoever installed it for you would have had that in the instructions. It's a passcode. Okay, so once you enter, now you're in this menu. You're going to go down here to wireless device manager. Add a device. Preparing to add. So it comes up with this screen. It says Pre please press and release the connect button at your wireless device. So we're going to go do that, do that on the remote. Now I've got the wireless remote. We're going to hit connect. Remote has been replaced. This says connected. We got to go up here and hit the done button. Connect more. No. Change is saved. We're going to hit done on here. Okay. So now my remote is connected once again. I'm not sure why this one always, it disconnects when the batteries go bad, but it's just kind of tricky how to um, get this set up. But you got to hit that far right hand bottom side and you got to put your finger on because this is a touch screen. So you got to put your finger on the far bottom right hand side and press and hold it there for about six or seven seconds. And then it's going to go into a special menu to where you can connect it. Again, this is just a dad, a really quick video on setting this up.